Hi, this is Jonathan. How are you guys doing? Today we're going to feature a guitar from Ernie Ball Music Man. This is the Ernie Ball Music Man Cutlass RS in single, single, single configuration and in vintage turquoise.
I want to thank Clement for guitar. I want to thank Clement for guitar seven seven plus for passing me his guitar for review. Now this is a pre loved guitar, but in very good condition. All right, almost mint. Um, interesting guitar to play. Uh, I I really enjoy myself playing this guitar. Uh, basically, you have an older body, nice older body with a vintage turquoise finish. All right, very nice. And then you have a selected maple neck with a H uh, tint yellow finish, right? Or a H yellow finish, natural H yellow finish. So on first glance, it might look like a, a, a roasted maple neck, but it's not, right? And then you have a nice rosewood fretboard, um, fret reduce of 10 inch, and you have stainless steel frets. So these stainless steel frets are high profile and medium width. You have the proprietary nut from Ernie Ball Music Man with a nut width of 41.3 uh, mm. You're not mistaken, yes. And then you had the Scalar uh, Locking Tuners over here and the familiar headstock from Ernie Ball Music Man. So I like this headstock because it's like two and four. And if you aim down the, the, the path of the strings, you'll find there's no obstructional angle, no acute angle to, you know, that, that will catch on to the nut. Henceforth, uh, very good tuning stability, especially when you are playing with the tremolo system. Right, you have the logo at the back here. You also have a five screw neck joint with the uh, neck plate, Ernie Ball Music Man. And then for the body, you have a five way pickup selector switch, one volume, one tone. And then you have a three ply white pick guard and a tremolo system uh, from Ernie Ball. This is the Music Man modern tremolo system with vintage bent steel saddles. Um, you have this, uh, yeah, this 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 bit here, which is really comfortable, so you don't get poked by the screws there. <laughs> so it's, it's really nice, yeah. And this is one of the, one of the most comfortable uh, treble system I played. Very very stable, very easy. And if you set it up correctly, like this is, you know, floated. It's a joy to play. Now the pickups, so these three single core pickups, right? So they are called the uh, Music Man Custom Wild Single Calls, featuring the new uh, White Spectrum Music Man Silent Circuit, which reduces hum and retains the single call sound. Now, it's not going to eliminate every hum, all right? So for a 60 cycle, especially when you're on overdrive setting, but it would significantly reduce uh, the hum. Um, probably about 60, 70 percent, you know, maybe more, I don't know, but uh, when I'm playing it, it was really, really quiet, so can't really tell. And it doesn't affect the tone. Now, some silent circuit, like some, um, you know, some circuits that uh, whether it's a dummy circuit or whatever you have uh, that can't try to eliminate the uh, the 60 cycle hum, it will affect the tone. I don't see any effect on the tone of the single calls. So it works. <coughs> no, it does work. And um, yeah, so how does it play? No, so this uh, neck profile is really easy. It's like a slim C, really easy on the neck. 
uh, the 10-inch fret radius, the jumbo frets, you know, it, it's, it's a joy to play. No no uh, obstruction, no road bumps, nothing. It's a real fast neck. Yeah. For the sound, now these three single calls are your typical single calls. So if you're looking for a Fender Strat kind of sound, single, 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 this is the one to look for. I'd rather have this, I'd rather go for this than to go for a more expensive American Telecaster. Um, unless you're really a fan of the uh, Fender Telecaster with the headstock and everything. I, I, I find this is a more uh, uh, viable guitar for me. Um, if, you're going, if I'm going for the Fender Strat kind of sound. Um, if you're playing country, if you're playing blues, you know, you, you might go for that. But if you're playing hard rock and stuff that needs a lot of beef in your bridge pickup or your neck pickup, then you might want to look for the other uh, versions of the Cutlass. So this is really nice, especially for uh, the, the Quack uh, on the second and fourth position. Really nice Quack, really great for funk. Really great for country if you want to, and I, I think it's a fabulous guitar, a fabulous sounding guitar, a real nice sounding guitar, um, but for certain genres. So if you're going for a heavier stuff, you can still make do with this, even with the heavy uh, uh, overdrive setting that I did in the song. Um, all you need to do is maybe employ a booster, you know, work a little bit on the EQ or the compressors, and it would sound good, you know. So it's, it's a matter of how you employ your effects and your EQ. But if you're looking for a, a, a more beefy sound, then there are other versions available from the Cutlass series, those with the humbuckers, right? Cool. Uh, I like playing this guitar. This is a really comfortable guitar to play. <coughs> and it's not heavy at all, right? Um, if you're interested in this guitar, the guitar is available in Guitar Sense 7 Plus in Singapore. It's also been posted on Reverb, so I'm going to put all the links in the description. So check them out if you want to. If you're in Singapore, call Clement up and make an appointment, try it out yourself. Right? Let me know what you think about this guitar. Leave your comments in the comment section down below. I want to hear from you. Uh, and if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel. Press the bell for notification of future videos to follow and be part of the patrons to support this channel. I would appreciate it. I thank my patrons for the wonderful support. Thank you so much, guys. So in the meantime, guys, please take care of yourself, and I'll see you real soon. I'll be the same.